Hello everyone, Rice Time 911 here, and today in this video we're going to look at how to add customizable parts, or rather parts you can buy, and they'll show up on your vehicle when you buy them. So let's get right to it. So for this tutorial, you're going to look at three things. One, the i3d file. Two, the XML. And three, the sample code, which I've included in the description. So. If you haven't already, unzip your mod to a place where you can work on it, any folder, anywhere, it doesn't really matter, so long as you have everything out in front of you, you can see your i3d file, your xml, and then you're good to go. So, we're going to open up our i3d file and our xml, so just like this, so open up our xml and i3d file. And first what we're going to do is we're going to go and take a look at our XML file. So, I mentioned the sample code, right? Yeah, I did. Okay, so you're going to want to go to the sample code, which will look like this. And you're going to copy this code here, design configurations, this whole piece here. And then just paste it anywhere in your XML file, but before this here end tag. So, right here is fine. So now we got our design configurations section. So what we're going to want to do is right here we see the name. Well, you can name this whatever you want. This is what the configuration will show up as in the shop, the name of it, which I happen to be making it for a bull bar for my Chevrolet Blazer. So there we go, call it bull bar and put price 15 hard because that's probably about how much a bull bar is, I don't know. And now it says object change node. So what is that? Well, if we go to our i3d file now, and we just find the model of the object we want to have buyable, which in my case is the bumper. So as you'll see here, we have the bumper right here, which we want to make buyable. And in the attributes panel, and if you can't see that, go to window attributes you'll see the index path 027. So you'll just want to copy that and you'll paste it in right here in the object change node. And basically what this does is tells which object to add. And visibility active, I believe that's if it's visible when you buy it. And visibility inactive, I think that's if it's visible when it's not bought. So yeah, that's just some stuff to keep in mind. So now that you've got this code all set up, you've got the name, the price, the node or index, you should be all good to go. So just save up your XML and you can save up your i3d and you should be all good to go. Then you zip it all back up. and then you can go in game. So now when you go in game and go to the shop to buy your mod and go and look under the design category and just scroll through it, you should find your modification, which in this case I put bull bar. So now you can go ahead and buy it and your vehicle should show up at the shop with a bull bar. Whereas if we go and buy it with standard, it will not have one. So there you go, that's how you add a customizable part to your farming simulator mod. I do hope this video has helped you, if it did, be sure to like and subscribe, and check out my other tutorials which may help you as well. So yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye!